Okay, so what happened the night Taz tried to bite your finger off? Um, so I was eight months pregnant with our son. Yes. And um, he had been drinking. Um, and normally he only gets like aggravated whenever he's drinking. And so we got into a heated argument because his mother's money had come up missing. Mm. And um, he thought that I had something to do with it. We kind of split up and then got back together. So during this incident, um, he was accusing me of being a part of that. Mm. And so we had gotten into a little scuffle. Um, I threw a PlayStation at him. He threw it back at me, kept mm. pushing me down to, to, to the floor. And so I kept saying, Taz, please stop. I'm eight months pregnant. I put my hand up like this right here to kind of stop him from, yeah. from shoving me again. And he chomped down on my finger. And I'm saying, Taz, please let me go. And I'm crying. I'm saying, Taz, please let me go. And he says, shut up. Just shut up. He says, shut up or else I'll bite the, the, the thing off. Um, the police was called out there. During that time, um, neither one of us pressed charges on each other. A couple months later, I get arrested for domestic violence, second degree. They put it as a second degree because Taz had told the officer that I tried to choke him whenever all I did was try to stop him from shoving me down. Eight months pregnant. Eight months pregnant. So after that night, let me just be clear, he then, even though you had to press charges that night, he then went back to the police. No, no. So in the police report, in the police report, he had put that I had choked him. Oh, so when they were reading, the police came right. back after reading the poll. Right. Okay. Wow. So when did these issues start between you and Taz? Um, so Taz and I got together in September of 2019. His mother was murdered in March of 2020. Got it. Um, so what happened there is Taz started doing drugs mm. and drinking a lot. And his mother had left him a good, you know, chump sum of money. And so he was taking that and he was buying whatever he wanted to to try to help him cope with mm -hmm. his mother being murdered. The more I tried to help him, the more he resisted. Got it. Um, whenever Taz and I are good, we're good. And so whenever he started doing drugs, I'm not going to lie, I did a bump every once in a while. You know what I mean? I hit the pipe every once in a while. But it was never a constant thing. Mm -hmm. And um, he got really, really out of control with it where it continued to be a constant thing where, you know, um, he was accusing me of cheating. He grabbed me by my face, shoved me up against the, the um, bedroom closet door. How um, does he accuse you of cheating? How often? Yeah. All the time. All the time. All the time. Mm. Um, and are these, these violent outbreaks usually accompanied with the accusations? Um, it used to be. Okay. It used to be where it, be, it would become physical. Mm -hmm. But I think now as we've matured through our marriage, I think that we've kind of learned how to separate ourselves. Although there'll be times whenever he tries to entice me to hit him, but I kind of just walk away now instead Good. of, you know, okay. egging it on. So why do you think Taz has the doubts about this being his baby? Because he always thinks that, that I'm sneaking around on him or I'm cheating on him or because I've left him so many times mm -hmm. that he believes that he's not the father of our son. Got it. Have you ever cheated on Taz? No. Never? Never. At all? Okay. In addition to the DNA test, we're also unlocking everyone's phone, correct? Because mm -hmm. you told my unlock the, yeah. You told my Unlock the Phone investigators that you want to know if Taz is talking to other women, specifically on TikTok. Yes. What's going on there? So, maybe about eight months ago, I had sent him some money on Cash App. He took my money and he sent it to this girl on TikTok. And the next morning, I get up, I get on his TikTok, and the girl says, good morning, my love. I said, hey, I said, this is Taz's wife. She says, well, we can both have him. I said, I, said, I don't get down like that. How I got a question for you. So when she said you can both have him, why did you say you can keep him? Uh, because I love Taz, and and and, and I, I keep him. yeah, okay. and I keep hoping that what we initially had will will be that again. Which is why I'm here because I need help to, to salvage my my marriage before there's nothing left to salvage. I understand. So we are also unlocking your phone so you can prove to Taz that you are not cheating. Right. Okay then. Well, it's time to hear from Sierra's husband. So everyone, please welcome Taz to the show. Did you really try to bite off Sierra's finger? Uh, yeah, I gripped a hold of it, yes. but I didn't try to bite it off, honestly. Like, but I you had, had a tight a grip, grip on her yeah. finger. Mm. She done scratched my eye up. My, my... Why, though? Because you was poking me in my face, and I kept saying, Taz, stop. Taz, stop. So yeah, I reached back up, and I did like that, and I accidentally jabbed you in your eye. You still do that. <laughs> so you... She still does it now to this day. You know what I mean? Mm. And instead of getting physical, I, Say my little words and you walk away. Okay, most good. but but right. but but it's not just little words. Like he'll call me a, th a thought. He'll call me a. C he'll call me a bitch. He'll tell me I'm stank. Mm. So it makes you think that Sierra's been unfaithful, though. 
I can go to the bathroom for five minutes and she'll be on the phone before I leave the room and she'll have a little smirk. As soon as she know I'm there, put her phone down and then that's the end of that. Mm -hmm. And then she'll walk off to finish what she was doing in the room now that I'm in that room. Got it. But that's like not she... even true. That's not even true. It is. It is. What's the truth then? Half the time, Taz has my phone. I have no password on my phone whatsoever. At any point in she time, just recently started. At, at any point in time, Taz could could go through my phone. Did your relationship change after your, the death of your mother? In your opinion? Yes. Yeah. In what ways? I don't look at people of the world the same. Everything is basically here, and it can get going at any moment. So I don't try to hold on to it mm -hmm. as much as I used to. So, do you think this baby was yours at first, correct? Yes, at first, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because like what, before my mother and my grandmama died, she, they were like, you need to settle down and have a child because you're just moving around too much to say you're going to settle down one day. Yeah. So then when I heard that she was pregnant, you know, I already took care of her two, her two other kids since they was little. So, you know what I mean? I got one of my own now, finally. So that's that, something I could, you know what I mean? Yeah. They brought to me, you know. Yeah. But, yeah. but yet you deny him because his characteristics changed. Yeah, I deny him because the characteristics changed because uh, going back to the stuff you do. Like, and whenever you talk to, to your family members, you'll be like, oh, well, well, he's he's the mailman's baby. This is why I say it's all in his head because we'd be riding down the road and I'll look over in somebody's yard and there just so happens to be somebody outside. Mm. He'll be like, D do you want to go back there? Mm. Okay. Okay. It'll be dudes. Yeah. But I don't even know <laughs> these people, Taz. I don't but, even know these people. So why people. are you staring if you don't know them? Are you, are, you <laughs> are you close to your son? Potential son? Yeah. He, he, I love him. I love, I love he's him. He's a great father. So I you love him. You love him. I love him. You love him a lot. Like, have you been faithful to Sierra? Yeah. You have been? Yeah. Other than TikTok? Other than TikTok. Okay. What happened there? Well, when it came to her, uh, we was talking for a little bit. We ain't been nothing serious like that. She sent me some money, so I sent her money okay. using her money because I didn't Why get did my she send yet. you money? It's not because I, I know a lot of people who do uh, financial interactions through social media like TikTok or anything else, and normally it's never a girl sending a guy money. That's that's never a case that I've heard. It's very rare. So I'm, I'm confused of why she decided to send you money. Lunch. Got it. So are you still talking to this girl on TikTok at all? Okay. I don't talk to no females on TikTok, man. None. Okay. Before we get into the DNA outcome, Taz, you want the phones unlocked? So I think we should get you unlocking the phones Alrighty. first. Okay. <laughs> all right, Taz, you told um, the unlock the phone investigator that you want to know if Sierra is speaking to any other men in this envelope is the answers. And Sierra, you told my Unlock the Phone investigator that you want to know if Taz is speaking to other women on TikTok. We're gonna lock your phone first, Sierra. <laughs> so, Taz, you want to know if Sierra is speaking to any other men. She says she's not. My Unlock the Phone investigator searched her text, her DMs, and her phone, and she? Found nothing. It's telling the truth. We didn't find anything Told anywhere you. on her phone I of her talking you. to anyone at all. I wouldn't cheat on you. How do you feel about that? I'm happy. Good. I'm, I'm real happy. I'm Good. So you know that this relationship is real, and you know that she's not doing anything. So you at least have clarity on that. And you've been calling her names and accusing her. Do you feel like you owe her an apology? Yeah, I'm sorry, babe. <laughs> listen, listen. This is why I love. This is why I love my crew here. Okay. This is why I love it. Who said that? Shut up! I see you. Because let me tell you, what's about to come out of my mouth was the same exact thing. That was the apology. She, she, she deserves a lot more than that because we've searched, we search, search, search. She deserves a lot more of an apology there. Yeah. All right, well, listen, it's time to unlock the truth again. Taz, it's time to unlock your phone. All right. So, Sierra, you want to know if Taz is speaking to any other women specifically on TikTok. He says he is not. My Unlock the Phone investigators searched his apps, and he is telling the truth. Yes, I love you. <laughs> okay, I'll tell you this. 
He follows a lot of women on TikTok. Yes, he does. I will does. tell you, he follows a lot of women on TikTok, but there is no communication at all. So, then my Unlock the Phone investigators to search his DMs, and he is telling the truth. You being faithful? <laughs> now, you want to know if Taz is speaking to any other women. He said he is not. My Unlock the Phone investigator searched his texts and found two suspicious pictures. Now, I have an evidence bag. These are two explicit photos from two separate women that were texted to him within this year. They were deleted. So now let me tell you, one of the things when we, because we're able to find things that are deleted on this show, so if you delete it. Well, the problem is when phones, when things, messages are deleted, it separates his reply and the message. So we see the message, but we don't see exactly what the reply is. So I can't confirm if he replied to these or not. But these are the two women, and I just want to confirm, are, are these you? We say it is, yeah. Are these you? Mm-mm. OK. Oh. No, that's not something. Not show the photos. Let me find out the crew freaky, too. Y'all freaky, yeah. too? Yeah, but who are these from? I've never even seen these girls before. Me neither. If it was deleted, then you've definitely seen it. I mean, I looked at it because it got sent to me, but he ain't from no female. Got it. OK. OK. Got it. You know what? I think he's telling the truth. OK. OK. Because I do remember a while back, in his gamer, um, his gamer text messages, they were sending photos yeah. like this to each other. Okay, okay. So you might be telling the truth, because I, I do uh, remember listen, this one. Us usually, I would be like, you're naive here, but I'm I don't have, listen, no, I, like I snoop, <laughs> I snoop. Yeah, yeah. I get, I get real nosy, yeah, and I start yeah, looking, see, but see, I couldn't find it. So he that's the only reason right now I can't give you. I'm sure you surprised yeah, I, 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 found got a, I got a group, you know, uh, my group, that's, that's what. Yeah, and they send stuff I, I, like that. I want to know, are you surprised I even found these? Yeah. You are. Yeah. I'm telling y'all, yeah, y'all yeah. need to be unlock to my phone, y'all better come on the show. I will find it, all right? Like when you say this. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, I, I'm just happy. You now know there's a solid relationship here. You have it, she's not cheating, he's not cheating. So at least you have some clarity here. And I'm hoping that can give you a little bit of a foundation to know at least something solid. But now, we have still this DNA outcome. You're questioning if this is your child. Right. You have said that you felt like she was cheating, like she was doing things. You know now she wasn't, but does that yeah. give you clarity on what could be in this envelope? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Here you go. Read it out loud because I told you. Uh -huh. <laughs> Taz is Taz is Junior biological father. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> so now, do you feel better about everything? Do, do, do you feel as if this has helped us a lot? I, I hope so, because I don't, I don't like constantly defending myself. Uh, okay. Love you too. You took, you're here to cause uh, my makeup. Yeah, I know, I mean, uh, <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> so Again, you now have something more solid as well. Yes, sir. You have a child. So, Can I keep this? <laughs> this is yours. That's yours. <laughs> but at least now you know you have a woman who's standing by your side. And y'all have done the work. I've been tracking it. Y'all are doing the work slowly but surely to be healthier, which is what it's about in a relationship. Are you talking? Are you trying to figure out how we can grow to be better? And y'all are doing that for each other. Yes. My advice to both of you right now is that I'm really happy that the abuse has stopped and that y'all are out of that. Um, obviously, there's still a lot of trauma that has happened from yeah. your mother being murdered, and I'm so sorry about that. That is affecting the way you see the world and affecting your relationships. Yeah. Um, you know, when you started talking about that, it, it started to break my heart. Yeah. Because I can see, and I think you already know, that there is still pain lingering there. Because you just said, you feel like anything that comes to you can be taken away at any moment. So if you feel that way, why would I care about a relationship? Why would I care about anything at all? Sure. So hopefully this can be the starting point fully where you can say, I got real stuff in my life. I got family. I got people who love me, who are going to be there for me, who are yes, going to rock with me, who are not going anywhere. And y'all can start building together in the healthiest way. Yes, sir. I wish y'all the best of luck. Oh, Thank geez, you. <laughs>